My name's Amata, and in this Red Gaming Tech video, I'm here with your latest from the tech world in the last 24 or so hours. So, what do I have for you today? Well, quick update regarding Paul. He is currently flying back today. I'm not sure if he's actually on the plane yet, but he is flying back today. We'll be back tomorrow, England time. So, no content from him today, but he'll be back at it soon. So, what do I have for you? Well, we're going to kick things off with a couple of AMD pieces as AMD have officially launched the Ryzen 5 2400GE and Ryzen 3 2200GE. And we also have six first-gen Ryzen processors marked for end of life. And then we're going to move on to some rumours regarding the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. And then we're going to talk about MSI and AMD and their Combat Crate bundles. But as I said, let's start things off with the Ryzen 5 2400GE. So these have been officially disclosed by AMD, so no rumours here, and they are 2000 series APUs. And they're going to come to the lineup with lowered TDPs in order to increase energy efficiency. Of course, there's upgrades to the previously released counterparts, so I've had some clock tuning as well, silicon binning, all that sort of stuff. And we have seen, as I've already said, a decrease of the TDP to an impressive 35 watts which is pretty damn impressive considering that these are pretty much the same silicon pieces. So what about the actual specifications I hear you ask? So for the 2200GE, which again is the Ryzen 3, has four Zen cores with no SMT, so it is just four threads that run at 3.2 GHz base frequency and up to 3.6 GHz boost. And it has eight Vega GPU cores which run at 1100 MHz. But what about the 2400GE, the Ryzen 5? Well, we're going to be seeing a full 8 threads on show here as we do have SMT enabled. Once again, we're going to be seeing a 3.2 GHz base clock that can boost up to 3.8. However, we're also going to see some improvements in terms of the core count for the Vega GPU versus the 2200GE as we have 11 Vega cores at 1250 MHz. So overall, some pretty nice improvements over their predecessors in both the base and the boost but and the TDP as well however let's move on to Ryzen and the end of life so basically what we have here is AMD have retired several first generation flagship Ryzen CPUs now this is hardly a shock given that of course the second generation Pinnacle Ridge just came out with the 2700X, 2700, 2600X and of course the 2600 so it's understandable that AMD don't want to basically replenish the current stock available for retailers because that's basically what this means. Retailers can no longer order them from AMD. They are, of course, more than free to sell their current inventory. And, of course, AMD is still going to give the usual after-sale support and warranties are still going to be valid for anyone who do, does have one of these CPUs. But once the current stock that is currently out there is gone, that's it. That's your lot. So, basically, six first-gen Ryzen's have been retired and among the retired SKUs are the 1800X, 1700X, 1700, 1600X, 1400 and 1200. So again this is hardly shocking because the second generation Ryzen basically replaces this generation and improves upon it in pretty much every way. So not shocking, you know shed a tear for the first generation Ryzen, it was a great starts to the Ryzen life but obviously second gen as we've been discuss discussing for the last few weeks has been quite the improvement to say the least so yeah if you want to get your hands on some Ryzen better do it while there's some available is basically my point so let's move on to Samsung now this is not exactly world ending or anything but still a cool addition as basically we according to a report from mspoweruser.com and of course their article is going to be linked in the description below this video we're going to be seeing two more SKUs for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus with basically going to have more memory. So we're going to be seeing a 128GB variant and a 256GB variant. Now also further according to this report, we're going to be seeing support for DexPad, which basically means that you can connect to your S9 or S9 Plus to a monitor and basically essentially work on your phone but on the monitor, which if you do want to do say a little bit of photo uploading onto your Instagram or whatever, you can work with a bigger monitor and that sort of stuff. So, you know, again, not exactly, oh my God, you know, excitement running in the streets, but still a cool addition, but we should of course wait and see what happens. So let's end off this video, shall we, my friends, with MSI and AMD. 
Now, I'm sure some of you are scratching your heads going, what? what are you talking about? And basically, these are bundles which are making their way to the gaming market, and these are going to be comprised, according to videocards.com, of two available options, basically, at the moment at least. We're going to be seeing the Ryzen 5 or the Ryzen 7, 1700, obviously the Ryzen 5 was a 1600, a B350 motherboard and a RX 580 armor graphics card. And video cards have actually provided a bit of a sort of blurb as it were, which reads, quotes the AMD combat crate come stop with essential hardware and just push your games to the next level and lay waste to the competition with a lightning fast Ryzen processor, powerful RX graphics backed by revolutionary Radeon software adrenaline edition and a feature ready MSI motherboards, the AMD combat crate is the ultimate arsenal for gamers. So long story short, TLDR, this is basically a pre-made, or not pre-made, but pre-selected I suppose is the right word, bundle available for people who perhaps aren't sure of what to buy and to be honest a 1600 plus rx 580 is actually not too shabby at all to start off with i mean if i was going to be recommending a rig to someone that would definitely be on the back of my mind especially if they had a lower budget so it's not a bad option say the least and especially it kind of ties into the whole end of life thing it's is probably amd trying to obviously if they can possibly shift some of their old in inventory excuse me now, unfortunately there has been no mention of the price tag because that's obviously critical as to how much of a value add this actually is but neither msi or amd at least according to video cards have actually provided this information all we have is what i've already said so depending on the price this could be really really cool and given that obviously a lot of people new to pc gaming tend to feel a bit lost as to what actually goes together what's actually good that sort of stuff stuff like this isn't actually bad and obviously they're not the first bundle to exist or anything like that but it is still a nice option especially when it's official like this but again i think it purely comes down to how expensive or cheap this is going to be but yeah, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As I mentioned, Paul is going to be back in the UK tomorrow. I doubt we'll see anything from him tomorrow because he's going to be destroyed with jet lag. But uh, I'm off on holiday myself on Wednesday, so we'll be seeing much more of him after a well-deserved holiday in the United States. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.